Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. This is a guitar lesson in our rhythm and strumming uh, kind of a series. This is going to be real quick. It's not so much a lesson, almost more like a tip. But I want to talk to you today a little bit about um, intensity and dynamics in your strumming. So if you are just starting to play the guitar, maybe you've, uh, you've been going, you've learned... Uh, all the chords in a few different keys, you've maybe learned some strumming patterns, some songs. I think one thing that's common to find is uh, everything you play sounds the same. So you could be playing... You know, here's just a basic progression. No matter how you play it, every time, every section sounds about like that. Uh, if you were on the intensity level from, I always think of it from 1 to 100, and uh, you're maybe at 60, 70, and you can push up to 100 just by strumming harder, um, but you'd like to find more dynamics, this is for you. Uh, there's two kind of tips I'm going to give you. One is obviously just to strum less. So um, if you're playing this strumming pattern... you want to mellow it out, obviously all you have to do is just... And I like to do down strums. And then if you want to make it bigger, throw in more down strums. So you notice I kind of did that in there. So here's our strumming pattern. And now we can make it bigger by inserting more. Ultimately, eventually, you can just down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Okay, so that's what you can do uh, more and less, obviously. Um, it's sort of a simple fix. Uh, but to get into more dynamic playing, um, one thing that is really important to do is just to think you don't have to strum all the strings every time you strum. So I'm going to give you an example. Here's our strumming pattern again. So now if I take that and I just strum these bottom three or four bass strings and I do the same strumming pattern, it'll sound a lot different and more mellow. And then strum them all and it sounds bigger. I did not strum any harder. It's the same sort of intensity of strumming. I'm just not strumming all the strings. I'll back off. And if you can combine that with maybe some softer strumming, you can really get some uh, dynamics and intensity going. And uh, it's just as simple as not strumming all the strings. That might be difficult for you to do because you might not have as much control as you'd like with your, if you're right-handed, it would be your right hand, your strumming hand. If you're left, it'd be your left hand. Um, and they call, oftentimes this is called like right hand technique. Um, but what you wanna do is uh, I think in my other videos I've referenced this in strumming, don't uh, bend at the elbow when you strum. Try and make most of it happen in your wrists and you'll get a lot more control. So if you watch my elbow, hopefully it doesn't move very much. I mean, if you really wanna dig in, you're gonna, you're gonna have to. But a lot of it happens right here in the wrist and uh, it will give you a lot more technique. Really, it just comes down to practicing. One song where I find that this really uh, comes into play is the song Beneath the Waters by Hillsong. It has this cool, like, rhythmic kind of uh, sound to it. So 
so you might notice that's a lot of strumming. Um, if I just stick on these bass notes, it doesn't sound huge. Now I'm not gonna strum any harder, I'm just gonna strum more strings, it'll sound bigger. So just a couple techniques to practice using strumming patterns and uh, strumming techniques that you already use. Think about when to strum less, when to sort of add some more uh, downstrokes and, and strum a little harder, and then really practice on uh, learning when and when not to strum all the strings. Remember, staying on your... Uh, your bass strings is going to give you a more mellow sound. You can also uh, play sections where you're more just on your on your treble strings. That will also give you a more mellow sound. That was beneath the waters in a different key, um, but it kind of has the same effect. I hope that's helpful for you. Keep practicing. Try and develop these techniques and work on your strumming hand uh, technique. It will really, really improve your guitar playing over time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.